like to do my training first thing in the morning if possible. And luckily for me, I have about an hour's commute by bike, which is perfect actually for fitting in this snappy little FTP session. Now, because I have a bit of a tendency to faff in the morning over a cup of tea, I try to get everything ready the night before, so I pack my bag if I'm taking one, and I make sure I leave my socks on the radiator so they're nice and warm. So I have no excuses because this is a three by eight minute session and I find that a bit daunting. So here we go. Oh, it's bloody raining as well. Now, one key challenge with incorporating training into your commute is traffic, of course, because a lot of other people are trying to get to work or to school at the same time. So if your route to work is really busy, maybe try to take a detour or an extra loop to find a quieter section of road and avoid road rage. I'm using this rather busy part of my route through traffic as my warm up because it doesn't matter if I have to pause or slow down to be courteous to other road users. Now, this key session is fairly straightforward. It's just three by eight minutes at 110% of your functional threshold power. Now, that's easy to work out if you've got a power meter. You could also go on heart rate, although be aware, your heart rate will drift up over the eight minutes. I'm just gonna go on perceived exertion because Frankly, that's good enough. Now, if you're going on feel, it should feel hard. Let's face it, you're going at 10% over your threshold, so you'll feel a buildup of lactate, but it's not flat out. So it's eight minutes of controlled effort. Now, it looks like I've got, a fair, got to a fairly quiet section of road, so I'm gonna get started. Right, here goes. Oh man, sweet suffering, eh? Well, for these long intervals that are over threshold, you'll need a decent recovery so that you can produce quality work. So I'm gonna spin for a good five minutes, nice and easy. Whew. Oh well, that's the recovery over already, I guess. Time to go again. For some reason, I always found it a lot easier to do this session uphill than on the flat. But if you don't live near any long climbs, don't worry, you can still do a training session like this. You just need to find a long stretch of uninterrupted road so that you can do the effort without having to stop. Your legs and your cardiovascular system, they don't know whether you're riding on the flat or uphill. All they can feel is the work you're doing, which is the stimulus they need. Oh, it looks like time to go again. Right, last one. <coughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's so great when the last effort is over, isn't it? And it's actually a really nice feeling of satisfaction to do a hard session well. I mean, I would give myself a, a pat on the back, but I I'm just not that flexible. Now, one real advantage, I think, of putting a structured session into your commute is that it breaks it up and makes it more interesting. And another thing is that today, because I did about 24 minutes of hard work, I might actually get in a bit earlier than normal and have time for a cheeky coffee before I work. I do really like a little coffee as a treat at the end of training. Now, I hope this video helps you if you're trying to train properly as part of your commute. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if so. And if you want to see more of the same, you could watch out because we've got a whole series of commuter training session videos coming out every Saturday for a few weeks. And there's also this video, which you could check out down here, which is how to plan time-efficient training for a sportive when you've got lots else on in your life.